During the pandemic, we've been taking time to talk about different mental health conditions we all might be experiencing. Professionals in Huntsville say there's one condition that we are not talking about enough. It's called psychosis. Our Sydney Stallworth tells us what it is and how it's expressed in this week's Mental Health Monday. Imagine what it'd be like if how you felt and what you thought wasn't necessarily in line with what's happening in reality. That's how people experiencing psychosis feel every day. One group in Huntsville has a new program designed specifically to help. It's just important for everyone to kind of know more about psychosis and what it is. So let's clarify, what is psychosis? Some of those symptoms could really fall into the line of um, hallucinations, which could be visual, auditory, tactile. It could be um, some delusions there where their thinking is not um, the same as what everyone else sees and identify with. Psychosis can manifest as disruptions to people's thoughts. It makes it hard for them to distinguish between what's real and what's happening in their head. It does interfere with learning. It does interfere with your social interactions. Data from NAMI shows 100,000 young people experience psychosis every year. The Nova Center's first episode psychosis program, or FEP, is new to Madison County. The goal is to identify signs of psychosis early and get people the help they need. Educating them about the illness, providing that support, assisting them through the transition of learning about the illness, trying to keep them from decompensating and having that cycle of hospitalization. The program is going to help a lot of people, but these experts say starting the conversation at home can help any family right now. I can relate personally to having family members with a mental illness. Having that conversation initially allows the loved one to know that, hey, I don't have to hide. I don't have to go through this alone. Like I am loved regardless of having a diagnosis or not. And, you know, it gives them that comfort. So when they're having to seek help, it's not that overwhelming shame and embarrassment. The program gives support long term with a team full of experts. Honestly, this program should be everywhere. With your Mental Health Monday, City Stallworth, WZDX News.